everybody, I'm Animal Boy, and welcome to Amazing Animal News, the show that brings you happy news about animals! Cha-cha-cha! Election Day 2020 was one for the history books. The entire nation was at the edge of their seats to see whether Snow Miser or Heat Miser would win the 2020 presidential election of the United States. While y'all were busy with that, I was occupied with an even more important election. I find it funny how dogs are seen as man's best friend, and yet wolves are seen as evil. It's like, furry thing in the woods? No. Furry thing with a collar? Yes. Wolves have been demonized for most of human history, including today. They now exist in a fraction of their historic range. And on election night 2020, the people of Colorado voted on whether they should or should not reintroduce wolves into the great state. Normally, this decision would be made by a team of super smart science peoples, but since wolves are such a controversial animal, the decision was left to the people, the public, the voters. And with an extremely close margin of 50.4% of the votes, Colorado voted yes to wolves! We did it! We won! We won, baby! Everyone must subscribe! We won! But the fight was not over yet. It's not like the day right after the election, the politicians were like, Okay, the people have spoken. Here are 235 unsolicited wolves going to your cities and whatnots and who's a what's it's. Nope. The plan Coloradans agreed to would have wolves reintroduced to the state by the year 2023. On December 18th, 2023, five gray wolves were reintroduced into the state of Colorado, with five more being reintroduced the 22nd. This marks the first time since the 1940s where there have been confirmed gray wolves living in the great state of Colorado. This is such good news! But, um, not everyone is as happy about this news as I am. Including me! I'm with the farmers on this one. All wolves are dangerous and evil. To prove my point, I have put together a production of a cautionary tale. This is Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. Cue Riding Hood. Aha! Yes, it is a Little Red Riding Hood. Cut, cut, cut. People, I specifically asked for no monsters to play Little Red Riding Hood. What happened to my star? Oh, Patricia had homework. She said I could be her understudy. Mm, that does it. Mm. We are stopping this production once and for all. Wait, wait, wait a sec. What am I saying? This production, it's not about Little Red Riding Hood. It's not about the story. Why would it be about that? It's about proving that wolves are evil. Cue Big Bad Wolf. Oh, I'm the big bad wolf, and I come to pl- What? Mr. Monster! Huff! Hey, man, dude! It's been too long! Yeah, yeah you I've been! been. been. Uh, what? What? Cut, cut, cut! You guys know each other? Yeah! Yeah, Huff and I were childhood friends. We used to be landscapers for Miss Moose's yard. Yep, yep, yep. He did all the mowing, and I did all the blowing. <laughs> By the way, how is she? Oh, I saw her at the store the other day. Really? Apparently, she has grandchildren now. Hey, next time you see- Cut, 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 cut! Mr. Monster, why are you being friendly to this beast? He's my friend. Yeah. And Wolf, stop being so nice. Hey, now, come on. Not all wolves are man killers, you know. You're more likely to be killed by a cow. Mookie, Mookie, where's my money? How'd you get involved with the mafia? Everybody ah! run! Ah! Ah! Don't want to run the way of the cow. Hmm. I don't know if I understand anything that happened there. But, um, good show. A lot of ranchers and farmers were very unhappy with this decision to have wolves return to Colorado. Both the Colorado Cattlemen and Gunnison Stock Growers Association filed lawsuits to try and halt the wolf release, but the judge thankfully dismissed them. The government is currently offering up to $15,000 for each and every livestock killed by wolves, but Colorado's farmers, still very much anti-wolf. I doubt that I'll be able to convince any farmers that wolves are good, and I also doubt that any farmers are watching right now, but I'll do the next best thing, teach y'all how to live with wolves. Wolves, generally speaking, are shy creatures that will not attack humans unprovoked. Still, there are simple steps that you can take to avoid all of the wolves, such as 
securing your garbage, making lots of noise around twilight, keeping your pets on a leash, and not leaving pet food outside. To keep your animals safe, make sure that any and all dogs, cattle, pigs, chickens, roosters, any, any animals you have, make sure you bring them inside at the end of the day. If you happen to see a wolf, first off, I am very jealous of you. But second off, there are even more simple steps that you can take to make sure you are not attacked, such as keeping eye contact with the wolves, backing away slowly, making yourself look big, and keeping any barking pets that might be barking at the wolves quiet. If you are really unlucky and encounter the extremely slim chance of being attacked by a wolf, use bear spray or a rifle to defend yourself and or scare off the wolves. Hopefully scare off. And if for some reason you decide to hike the mountains of Colorado without any protection and get attacked by wolves, aim between the eyes. Hopefully with all of this information, you feel more comfortable about sharing your state with the puppies of the forest. Have a good day, and remember folks, what do you call a team of wolf chiropractors? A backpack! See ya!